Today is a big day for California theme parks, too. Starting today, they can open at full capacity just in time for summer. From the happiest place on earth, where out-of-state guests will be able to step set foot through the gates for the first time since last year, to Legoland in North County, where everything is awesome, as you know. And, of course, there's SeaWorld, where ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie has been all more tracking the changes they are making. Okay. The joy that we see on people's faces being able to come back and visit one of their favorite places in the state um, and on the West Coast is really what gives us energy and it gives us hope that we're leaving this time in our in our lives, which is which is really great. SeaWorld getting ready to fully reopen at full capacity and to welcome all guests, including those from out of state. They'll continue with enhanced cleaning and sanitization and will follow state health department guidelines. For instance, if people aren't fully vaccinated or haven't had a negative COVID test, they'll need to continue to wear masks. During COVID last year, they were able to open at limited capacity as an accredited zoo, but kept the rides and other attractions closed. Late spring, they finally opened as an amusement park, but with limited capacity. They've been through many changes during the past 15 months, and those changes will continue as the last season of Chula Vista's Aquatica Water Park opens before going away for good. People are excited to be back in the water, and this park has been closed for almost two years. We've also been preparing for the transformation to Sesame Place. So yeah, this is the final season. When we close on Labor Day Monday, we will start our transformation to Sesame Place and we will be announcing an opening date um, in the fall and we'll open spring 2022.